Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop 2022 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you, for those of you that do not have a drawing tablet, either an iPad Pro or an iPad with an iPad Pencil or a Wacom, Cintiq, uh, Huion, whatever, all these different ones. If you don't have one of those, but you want to paint and make it look like you're painting with using um, a tablet, but you don't have one, I'm going to show you how to do it. Here we go. Uh, I've got an example here. This one up at the top here is I painted this. Uh, using uh, no tablet. I'm just on my Mac and I'm doing this on my Mac right now. So anyways, the first step, I'm going to create a new layer. I'm just going to show you what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and then select this elliptical marquee tool and I'm just going to draw out a circle holding down the Alt and the Shift key and something like that. Okay, so there's our circle. Presto. The next step is I'm going to apply a base paint or a base color. So I'm going to go to my brush tool. I'm going to go to my brush, and I'm just going to select any old brush. If you're following along, you can just go to your general brushes and go to soft round. It doesn't matter too much for this one. Okay, I'm going to increase the size of my brush. I am going to go to my color panel, and you might be seeing the hue cube, but if you want to follow along and go with the um, color wheel, just right-click on this hamburger menu, drop down to the color wheel. We're going to just apply a base color. So the base color is going to be this red here. So by holding down the Alt on the Mac or the Option key if you're on a PC or Option key on a Mac, pardon me, uh, I'm just going to left click, get the eyedropper, select that color, and now I'm just going to go ahead and paint the basins. I'm just going to paint over it a whole bunch of times and it's going to be nice and dark. You're going to notice here that my flow is set to 28 percent. This is where we go ahead and mimic the different um, styles of the ta uh, tablet style so or drawing tablet style so I've got a base now color now I want the top to be this orange so I'm going to go ahead and select the orange holding down the alt or the option key and I'm going to go ahead and reduce the size of my brush and I'm just going to paint something like this okay cool something like that okay and I'm painting over top of it again you're going to notice that this is my flow is set to about 28 percent now here is where you can go ahead and really get cool. I'm going to zoom in and now what I'm going to do is I want to basically blur and blend the orange and the red so it looks like I'm painting on a tablet. I'm going to drop the flow from 28% to 2%. That's right. I know it's not it's not I know it sounds crazy, but this is how you mock or you mimic a tablet uh, drawing or painting with a tablet. Now, I'm going to take this orange color again, and I'm going to very slowly just start painting over the, re or the redder parts. And again, it doesn't look like I'm doing much, and I understand that. But as I slowly do that, you're going to see it starts to blend, right? Now I'm going to take the red, and I'm going to move the red up into the orangey part, so up top. And basically what I'm doing now, and I'll do that again here, let's take a little more in there. And then what I'm doing, I sound like some sort of weird Bob Ross type guy, but I'm basically, by using the 2% flow, what I've done is I'm taking the colors, there we go, let's zoom out a bit more, add a little more red in there, and we're grading it. So basically, instead of applying it at like a, let's say if your flow is at 25%, and I picked a new color, like blue, for example, I could put a blue highlight on the edge here so like I could have like this cold edge and bang it's very very blue right it's very it doesn't look quite right so I'm going to command Z or control Z out of it if I drop it down to two percent now each time I add or let's do let's do three percent why not right okay cool now watch just a very subtle it's like I'm painting over the edge here right three percent very subtle and it looks like as I keep going over top of the stroke here and I do the stroke in a similar manner that I'm basically painting with pressure sensitivity but there is no pressure sensitivity because I am on my MacBook Pro and that is not set up so that's how you do it guys it's a long-winded uh, explanation but it works it's a great way if you don't have a tablet to make it look like you're drawing and painting with a tablet thanks for watching ton more stuff coming up stay tuned